Hey Joe, it's folks here. I started print on demand in 2016. I've made lots of videos here on YouTube. I've also been able to travel. I've attended a few different Printify events that they held where they invited me to speak at. I've also taught a lot of people about print on demand as well. So far, students of mine have made about $5 million in sales on their own stores. Myself personally, I've built a lot of print on demand stores. I've even sold print on demand stores. And everybody always asks, why don't I show my own stores in my videos? And on Honestly, in most cases, it's because there are a lot of copycats out there. If I was to show things that were doing well, then a lot of times people would just try to copy it. And ultimately now, I don't really mind because I am going to be showing you everything I am doing with my new print on demand store. I recently started a second store, and like I said, with this series, because I have done this for a while, I want to demonstrate success for you here on the channel. I am literally going to show you everything. In the future videos of this series, you're going to see the actual store, you'll see the designs, which means you'll see the actual niches that I'm selling to. I'm also gonna take you through all of the marketing for the actual store. In today's video, though, what I'm gonna do is outline the entire plan for you. That way, when the videos start to go live where I'm showing you the store, everything will be put into full context for you. If you're in the process of getting a store together, I also have a free print on demand course. It's called Print on Demand for Dummies. Inside are over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you how to build your store. You can check that out with the link down in the description. And also, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I am going to be showing you everything over the next couple of months as I build out this store. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I like to sell on Shopify. And honestly, I'm continuing with that with this store because the plan is to turn these niche products that I'm creating into a real brand. And in order to do that, I'm going to need my own website. I also want to be able to take full advantage of selling products on social media. This is where the real opportunity is right now. According to Forbes, people are spending about 145 minutes a day on social media. Forbes also says that in 2022, there was about $1 trillion in social social media sales. And by the year 2026, they predict that number to be over 3 trillion. That is a 3x growth over the next couple of years. And I believe, like I said, that is where the real opportunity is with print on demand. Like I mentioned before, I do have a free course down in the description that will show you how to build a Shopify store if you need help with that. Obviously, as we continue with this series, though, you will see me doing different things with my own Shopify store. When it comes to the marketing of the store, I'm going to be taking a three-part approach. First is with organic, second is with paid ads, and third is with influencers. These three things together are hopefully going to generate a lot of sales for me. This is the same way that I've always promoted products, and during this series, I will be laying out everything that I'm doing with this. When it comes to organic growth, the goal is to create pages on social media, mainly Instagram and TikTok and Facebook, to attract people in my niche to actually follow the page. As the page grows, I will be able to promote products to them. I will also be launching paid ads. I have found that if you start ads at a really low daily budget and you're able to generate consistent sales with them, that is a great way to get started taking advantage of paid traffic. Thirdly, I am going to rely heavily on using influencers. This means that I'm going to be using creators in my niche to promote my products to their audiences. Like I said, as we go through this series, you will see me correspond with the influencers. You will see me put together deals with with them and ultimately hopefully make some sales from their promotions. Now, whenever you are starting a print on demand store, you need to decide on an overall concept or an overall type of store that you're going for. For me, I am creating what's called a product focused store. This is a store that sells one type of product to lots of different niches. My store will primarily be home decor. I'm going to be starting with print on demand metal wall signs. Obviously, there are other types of stores you could create. You could create a niche store, which is a store that sells to just one niche. You could also do a general store that does a little bit of everything. I find that by creating a product focused store, I can sort of brand myself behind the product I'm selling while catering to specific niches. This here is the product that I'm talking about when I say print on demand metal signs. It's basically a metal sign for the wall that comes in five different colors that is printed in any shape that you want. This is going to be the baseline product that I'm going to be starting the store with. Over time, I have a few other ideas as well using suppliers like Printify and even T-Launch again, which does the metal sign that I just showed you. 
I'm also going to be relying heavily on personalization. The plan currently is to personalize every single design that I am selling. When I say this, I don't want you to think that doing print on demand without personalization is impossible. My main print on demand store right now does not do any sort of personalization, but with this new store, it is going to be 100% personalization. I am going to be using an app called Globo Product Options. It is an app that I am paying for, but they do have a free plan. And as we continue through the series, you will see me actually using it. I find that with personalization, you can not only make more sales in certain cases, but you can also make more profits. And with these metal signs, while they are a very profitable product, adding a personalized element to them is going to make them even better. Now, when it comes to naming the store, I am using a .store domain. To me, store domains are great because not only are they just cool, but ultimately there was a study that was recently done that shows that stores with a .store domain actually enjoy more traffic, they get lower costs per conversion, and they get double the visibility on search engines. The same study found that .store websites get 87% more traffic and a 12% lower cost per conversion on their ads. It also tells the person seeing it that they can buy things for you. Your name has dot .store in it, so obviously you are a store that actually sells things. And there's currently over 1 million sellers using dot .store domains. I am getting my dot .store domain from this website here. It's called get.store domains. And like I said, they reference that study that I just talked about, talking about all of the benefits of using a dot .store domain. At this point, there is also lots of really high profile people using a dot .store name, people like Michelle Obama, people like Mr. Beast, I think the United Emirates Air lines also is on a dot store domain as well and like I said there are over 1 million sellers currently using a dot store domain if you wanted to check out dot store domains you could check out this site here somewhere on here too they also go into details about the study that was done talking about the actual benefits of using a dot store domain for my store I am gonna have a dot com but I'm also going to purchase the dot store as well if you wanted to get a dot store domain I am putting on the bottom of the screen here a discount code that you can use to get a pretty good deal on on a dot store domain for your first year. I'll also put a link to this website in the pinned comment of this video. Now, obviously, we're going to need to select some niches for the designs. As we go through, I will reveal to you the actual niches. Ultimately, though, like I've always said, a niche is what gets people interested in your stuff. It creates a connection for them to decide to actually start getting into a shopping mode. For the beginning of the store, I'm going to just be choosing a couple of different niches. Over time, this store is likely going to grow to lots of niches because it is a product-focused store. But like I said at the beginning, I'm only going to be starting with a couple. When it comes to products, like I always say, the product is what ultimately creates desire for people to actually buy your item. You want to choose something a little bit more unique than a t-shirt or a mug to lead with to basically build your store off, and that's what I am doing with the print-on-demand metal signs. If you don't know about these, they're also very profitable. I'm going to be making, on average, over $30 in profit, sometimes much more than that on every single sale that I make. This product starts at just $17 for the small size. On my store, I'm only going to be offering three of these sizes and when we get there when I show you the store I will reveal to you why. When it comes to making designs, I'm going to be using a mix of my own creativity and AI to actually make the designs. The software for the designs that I'll be demonstrating is called Ideogram. This is a great software. It has a free plan as well. I'll also be doing a lot of the design work inside of Adobe Photoshop. I'm also going to be ordering samples of my products. Not every single design that I have on the store, but the plan is to send the samples to family and friends to get photos from them, as well as reviews of the actual product for the website. I'll also be using the samples to take my own photos to share on the store's social media pages. And like I said, as we go through, I will be showing you all of that. Make sure to subscribe because this series is going to hopefully be pretty cool. You don't often see stuff like this on YouTube where someone literally shows everything they're working on. If you want to copy me, I guess that's fine and we'll try to compete to see who can do it better. I'm pretty confident in my abilities to do it, but ultimately I wanted to do something a little bit different here on the channel where I show you everything that I'm going to be building out. I wanted to start by first making a video like this where I went through sort of the strategy that I'll be using and then that way once I actually begin posting the videos where I'm showing me running the store, a lot of it will sort of be put into context and that way I don't have to repeat myself about what I am trying to actually do. So hopefully this 
this is going to be a cool series. Type the word cool in the comments of this YouTube video if you are going to stay tuned and watch this. Ultimately, as long as you guys are interested in it, I will keep showing what I am doing. You can expect the first video showing the store very, very soon. And then ultimately, I will just continue to upload everything that I am doing. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.